my experience as a coach, I've probably coached a thousand professional games at all different levels. So all my games haven't been in the EPL. They haven't been in the championship. They've been throughout the leagues. And within all them leagues, there's different ways of playing, uh, different types of game. Um, but the one thing that is the same is that you play to win. Um, and that's the thing that I will bring to, to certainly Charlotte FC. To the left. Hi, Dean. Uh, Simon Evans, AFP. Hiya. Hi. Okay. Um, there are some really different things, though, in the MLS, aren't there? The way, the way that you put together your squad, the transfer market's very, very different from, from how it is in Europe. Have you had to do a sort of crash course a little bit, or were you, with the time that you've spent in, in the Carolinas, were you fairly up to speed on, on all, the, all the rules and regulations that you face building a roster? No, and I've just travelled here with Wilf, and um, he still doesn't know all the rules and regulations at the moment. So it's something that I've definitely had a crash course on, and I'll continue to learn as I go. Um, under 22 initiatives, GAM, TAM, designated players. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a crash course and, and learning very quickly. So, but you know, uh, the head coach's role is to improve players. You know, um, the the front office and the sporting directors, that's their job to bring in the players and organise the, the budget. So my job is to improve players and make sure, you know, I uh, improve the team by doing that. And stay to the left. Hi, uh, Bob Williams from The Sun. Um, there was a previous head coach in North Carolina by the name of uh, Dean Smith. I was just wondering how much you know about him and has there been any confusion or uh, amusement of the fact that you're there, you know, with the same name? I think... Uh, there's definitely, I, I definitely knew about him. You know, uh, I think my children who are grown up now would often Google my name and, you know, it would come up Dean Smith, the American basketball coach. And I said in a previous press conference, if I'm half as successful as he has been at Charlotte FC, then I'll have done a good job. Let's sit to left with Jonathan. Thanks. Uh, Jonathan Tannenwald from the Philadelphia Inquirer. You've spoken a little bit about this a moment ago, but I was hoping you'd expand on what appeals to you about coming here after so many years in England with all of its traditions and all of its big spotlight? And, and how much did you hear from your fellow managers over there who were saying, you know, tell us what it's like? Um, I'm actually excited because it's different for me. Uh, it's going to be a challenge, and I like a challenge. Um, and I felt by, by coming here, the league is improving year on, year out. You know, last year was probably one of the best years it's ever had. Uh, and the improvement is, is getting bigger. There's a World Cup here in a couple of years. Um, and I felt it was time for me to have that challenge. Um, the, the, the league in general now, I think the average age of players is younger. So, you know, years, years ago when it was scoffed at as, you know, more experienced players coming from Europe to the US, it's, it's no longer that. We go here in the front, right? Hi, how are you, coach? Um, Alonso Contreras for Aries Pro Network. In in your conferences, Inter Miami, we may see Suarez, Alba Busquets, and also you have the defending champions, uh, Columbus Crew. What are your goals for in, in your first season with uh, Charlotte FC? My goals are to finish as high as we can. Um, I don't think any any owner or sporting director will hire a coach who says he's come to finish third, fourth, fifth. You know, our job is to try and win. Uh, as many games as we can, finish as high as we can. And the way I look at, at the league of the MLS, it's almost like you try and win a championship and then you try and win a World Cup because it goes to a playoff straight after. So, you know, that's what we were going to attempt to do. We know Henry here and then Steve. Henry Bushnell from Yahoo Sports. Appreciate your time, Dean. Um, there's been a lot of talk here about the impact that Messi's arrival had on the profile of MLS, mostly, you know, among fans and, and the business. I'm wondering if it had an impact in your world on how, like, do you get a sense for whether it changed how coaches, um, whether in England specifically or around the world, view this league? I, I just think the name of Messi is synonymous, and as soon as he came to the MLS, then there was interest. Interest from supporters, interest from coaches, from all around the world, um, you know, and that's not going to lessen. Uh, you know, he was lifting the World Cup, you know, only what, 14, 15 months ago, so... You know, it's, uh, it was a big coup for the league, and it certainly, I think, changed everybody's aspect on the MLS now. Yes, Steve, and then we'll do two more <coughs> in the back of the room. 
I have Dean Steve Hi. Goff from the Washington Post. Along the lines from Henry's question about, about Messi, um, you come from a, a place with a, a big league, with big players. Um, how do you see his um, role and impact here in America um, and, and on this league? I think it's been there already. Um, you know, he's, he's led Miami already to uh, the League's Cup. Um, the amount of supporters now that have an interest in, in the MLS, not just in the US, but around the world now, it has just created a phenomenal, phenomenal interest by having Messi here. And, you know, uh, I'm fortunate enough to, I, I took Dibu uh, Martinez to, to Aston Villa, so I know him well. And he, he speaks how humble uh, a person, you know, uh, Messi is. So it's great to have him here. Back left. Daniel Feuerstein, uh, just a curious, what piqued your interest to go to Charlotte at the same time now that you'll be here? Uh, obviously, there'll be some long distance traveling when you face Western Conference clubs. How is that going to be for your first experience on that? Um, it's not quite Norwich City where we used to fly a lot, but, you know, it was only a, a 50 minute flight usually. But no, it, it, it's going to be different. I I know the Carolinas, obviously, because my son's been there for six years. So I've got to know the Carolinas very well. It's a part of, the, of America that we, we really like. Um, but travel comes with it. You know, uh, in the UK, it was traveling on, on buses to, to games for three or four hours. This is now, you know, airtime because of the, the vastness of the country. And it's something that, you know, I will have to adapt to. And I've already spoken to my coaches about I will have to lean on them you know, for their experience and knowledge of, you know, uh, what it takes in this league with the travel. And we follow up. Hi, Dean. Tim Reynolds with the Associated Press. To, to follow up on the Messi and follow up on the Messi that followed that question. <laughs> it was talked about here in Miami for so long, the, the rumor, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. When, when it actually became reality, did, were you surprised that, that the day finally came that not just a player of that ilk, but that player? said, I'm, I'm going to the States, I'm going to MLS. Did, were you surprised that that day came? No, I wasn't, to be honest. Um, I don't think the, the move to PSG went as everybody wanted it to be. Um, and it felt like he wanted something new and he saw that, you know, with the MLS now as, as a growing league and one that he could help grow even further. Um, so, you know, I think it maybe surprised a few people. I think the coaching world wasn't surprised. We have time for one more question in the room. We're in the middle. Ethan Fen, Ethan Fen, Football Cafe Podcast. So, Dean, uh, you just said you like embracing challenges. So uh, now is early stage before the first game. But at the moment, what do you think uh, is the biggest challenge uh, as you see now uh, for your MLS career? Yeah. I, I think the biggest challenge is to get the players, you know, very early thinking the way that I want them to think. Um, you know, I have to make them the best decision makers I can because that's what players do. They have to go on the pitch and become really good decision makers. Um, I have to assess very quickly the technical and tactical abilities of them. Um, obviously, being in the UK for so long, I pretty much knew every player there. This will be different for me. So my job is to first get to know my players, but then also get to know the opposition as well. Excellent. Thank you for your time, Coach. Brilliant. Thank you very much.